Hello, welcome back to the Osborne Wood Products Builder Studio. I'm Sarah, and today we're going to be assembling our brand new Contemporary Bistro Pedestal Kit. This is a really beautiful kit. It's very sturdy, it's very heavy duty, and it comes. It will come disassembled in three different pieces. You'll get your top plate, your center support, and then your bottom plate. And it will also come with all of the hardware that you're going to need to assemble it. Unlike a lot of our pedestal kits, this one will come with some screws that you can use to attach it to your tabletop. Before you attach your tabletop, make sure that you double check your screws and the thickness of your tabletop to make sure that the screws won't protrude out of the top of your tabletop after you've installed them. So before we assemble the table base, we're going to want to mark out the center point on the underside of our tabletop. For the top, we went ahead and found one locally. It's a 36 inch diameter spruce top. The top will not come with your pedestal kit, however. We've already gone ahead and marked the center point of our tabletop, but I'll go ahead and talk you through how we did that real quick. To find the center point of our tabletop, we went ahead and took a ruler here and just lined it up where the corners here and here are flush with the edge of the top, just like that. And then we drew a line called a cord right here. We found the center point of that, which this one here is 16 inches across, so eight inches would be the center point. And then we marked a perpendicular line from the cord all the way in to a little bit past where the center point would be. And we did this in a few different places. Uh, you wanna do this in at least three or four different locations so that you can make sure that the perpendicular lines that you draw, when they bisect in the middle, you can get a solid center point for the underside of your tabletop. So now that we found the center point of the underside of our tabletop, we're going to take the top plate, the top plate of the pedestal kit, and we're gonna mark out all of our screw holes for where we're going to attach this. Okay, so we have the screw holes marked now. So now we can move on. Before you move on to assembling the pedestal kit, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have already marked your lines. Uh, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you also finish your top so that, that way you can sand your lines off, get everything finished and have your points ready. So that, that way your top is ready to go when you're done assembling your base. In your pack of hardware, in addition to all of the screws to attach your tabletop, you're also going to get a handful of bolts, uh, washers, and two different sizes of Allen keys. The ones that you're going to want to use to put the top plate onto your center post are gonna be the slightly larger ones. You're also gonna want to use both washers that you're given in attaching the top plate to the center post as well. So let's go ahead and do that here real quick. All right, those are tight. Now that the top plate is attached, we're going to move on to attaching the base. Now this base is incredibly heavy, so you may need help attaching this to the rest of the center. There are going to be three holes, three center holes right here. And then the bolts that you'll use for those are going to fit in and just recess right in so it's nice and smooth. Okay, so now that we have the pedestal center assembled, we can attach our tabletop. So now that we have the pedestal center lined up with all of the holes that we've already marked, let's go ahead and get this attached. So the pedestal 
Center is assembled and we've got our top. So now we have a brand new, beautiful contemporary bistro table. The pedestal dimensions itself is going to stand 27 and 5 8 inch tall. The dimension of the top plate up here is 11 and 13 16 of an inch across. And then the diameter of the base here is 21 inches. So when you are creating a tabletop for your kit, you're going to want to make sure that the top that you create is no bigger than twice the diameter of the pedestal base where it sits on the floor here. Right now, this pedestal base is only going to be available in flat black and all of the links and all of the information to check it out are going to be in our description box below. So be sure to check those out if you're interested in getting yourself one of these. This pedestal base is going to be a great addition to anywhere in your home. If you just want something small, like a small kitchen table, small breakfast table, uh, maybe a little table in your entryway. There's a lot of different ways that you can incorporate this into your home. All right, so if you guys like this video, be sure that you like and subscribe and take a look at some of our other Builder Studio projects. And we'll see you guys next time in the Builder Studio.